Hi, welcome. In this video, we will see how you can use Informatica Cloud REST API while building your Cloud Connector application. We will walk you through the various steps involved in using the REST API and we will also see how to generate code snippets and various programming and scripting languages for those API calls. So let's get started. Let's understand the Informatica Cloud REST API first. The Informatica Cloud REST API lets you access information from your Informatica Cloud organization. It will also let you perform operations such as creating connections, schedules, maplets and task flows. Using the HTTP methods, you can make various API calls to request or submit data for the specified resource. For example, you can use following HTTP methods. Method get to request data from a specified resource. Method post to submit data to the server for further processing. Method delete to delete the specified resource or information. To be able to use Informatica Cloud REST API, you should have a valid user account on Informatica Cloud Sandbox. If you don't have an account already, you can create a free account by joining the Vibe Ready Partner Program. To create a new account, Please visit the link given in the screen here. As shown here, you can validate your login credentials by logging into Informatica Cloud Sandbox account. However, you can test the REST API calls directly from the technology partner network. We are ready to take a look at Informatica Cloud REST API now. First of all, we will take a look at three-layer presentation architecture of Informatica Cloud REST API. Then we will see how to navigate, configure and use various API calls using the same interface. We will also understand what IC session ID is and how to use it. And finally, we will see how to generate code samples for the API calls in some of the popular programming or scripting languages. The Informatica Cloud API presents you three different layers. You can see those three layers in the picture here. Let's visit Informatica Technology Partner Network now and understand this architecture in detail. We are in the Technology Partner Network here. Let's access the REST API section. The first layer on the left hand side, gives you the list of use case groups such as authentication, user information, mapping details etc. When you select any of the groups, it will either show you the subgroup or the various API calls that are available under the group. For example, selecting the authentication will show you three API calls such as login, logout and logout all. In the center, you will find detailed documentation of the API call you selected. You will get information such as name of the call, its data type, whether it is mandatory or not, etc. This is also the place where you will select the API function you want to try in the next step. For example, if you wish to test the user or the login function, you have to click on that function first. The rightmost side gives you the console for trying the selected API call. You can consider it to be your playground, where you can provide different values of the arguments for the selected API call and see its result immediately. Working with REST API requires that you follow a certain steps in a particular order. For example, Every REST API call requires IC Session ID. IC Session ID is an authentication token generated and used by the Informatica Cloud REST API. It is generated by providing the valid user credentials in the login REST API request. This ID is valid for two hours. Informatica Cloud REST API permits user to generate five IC Session ID per day. Once the IC Session ID is expired, you can regenerate new IC session ID using login REST API request. Let's see how to generate the IC session ID. Here, we are logged into the Informatica Cloud Sandbox. Let's click on the authentication, then click on login and provide the required credentials on the right hand side. We will click Call Resources button. Now, let's scroll down to the response part. You can see the IC session ID generated here. We will copy this ID. 
Please note that this ID is valid for two hours. In your connection application, you will be required to store the IC session ID programmatically and use it wherever required. Now that we have generated the IC session ID, let's use some of the API calls using it. It will now become clearer to you why we need to have the IC session ID. First of all, we will get details for all the users using the IC session ID. Let's click on the users, then click the URL parameters and hit the space bar so that existing user ID gets cleared. Notice the change in the URL above. Now, let's edit the header information and enter the IC session ID. Click on Call Resources button. As you scroll down, you will find details of each user such as their user ID, first name, last name etc. We will now create a new user in the Informatica cloud. So let's select the appropriate method, which is update or create user in this case. Since we want to create a new user, we will clear the URL parameter which had the user ID. In the body section, we will enter new user information, such as user ID, password etc. Take a look at all the documentation and the information that is available to you for using this method. We will update the header section with the IC session ID and click on Call Resources button. You can see the response value 200, which means that the user has been created successfully. Notice the new user ID. We will copy this ID and will delete the user using the appropriate API call. We will now use the Delete User API call. Let's update the parameter section with the new user ID, update the header section with the appropriate IC session ID. Click on Call Resources button. Scroll down to see the result. You can observe the response code 403, which means that the operation or the request failed. The error message here tells you that we don't have the required privileges to perform this operation. Let's check out some API calls related to the mappings. In this API call, we will fetch details of all the mappings. As you would have understood by now, we will update the header information with the IC session ID and execute the function call. As you scroll down, you will see details of all the mappings. Let's see how to generate the programming code for these API calls. This is one of the simplest steps. First of all, you execute any API call, and then click on the code example button as shown here. Then. Select the language of your preference in which you wish to see the code. As you can see here, you have quite a few programming or scripting languages to choose from. You can copy this code sample directly to your application. In this video, we covered the three-layer architecture of the Informatica Cloud REST API, steps to generate the IC session ID, the steps to configure and execute REST API calls, and also the way to generate code in various programming languages. Here are some of the links that can be useful to you while developing your Cloud Connector application. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it useful. In case of any questions, send an email to tpn at informatica.com.